Hi everyone, welcome back to Alice and the Giant Bookshelf. Today's video is another book unboxing from my Crime Syndicate subscription. And I do have, yet again, a tiny little book haul too. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name's Alice and I have way too many books. And despite having way too many books, this year I have been receiving a subscription, which was a Christmas present from my mum. And this is the Crime Syndicate subscription from Mr. B's Emporium in Bath. And as part of this subscription, they send me a brand new paperback crime thriller release every month. And I try to save them and open them on camera. You can see this one is not yet opened at all. It just arrived today. So I thought we would unbox that and I'll show you a few more books that I've obtained in the month of May for no particular reason. But yeah, I have uh, had a little bit of a secondhand book haul. So I will show you those as well in a moment. But first of all, let's unbox the subscription. This is the first month I've felt there's a possibility I might have read the book that they've sent me. I don't, hopefully it won't be, but there is a book that I've listened to on audiobook that has recently come out in paperback that's a thriller. They send out an email every month, which you can click through to see what the book is gonna be. And I don't actually do that because I, I want the surprise. So, yeah, really, really hoping this isn't a book I've already read. If it is, I can decide what to do. I think I will contact Mr. B's in the first instance if that happens. Hopefully it's something new. It's been something new to me every month so far. And what have we got today? Oh, no, I, it's definitely not the book that I was thinking would be best avoided. Got some bright orange. And we've got the very cool cover that they always send it in, the uh, Crime Syndicate one. So this says along the top that it's a Sunday Times crime book of the year. And I can see that the author at the bottom is Benjamin Stevenson, who is another author who is brand new to me. So that's exciting. Let's see if we can get this cover off. This is a bit that always takes me a little while. Oh, I love this bright orange. <laughs> Ooh, I have actually heard of this book, I think. I think I heard about this the other day. So this is Everyone in My Family Has Killed Someone by Benjamin Stevenson. This looks really, really intriguing. And a little fake sticker at the bottom here says Knives Out meets Richard Osman. Now I like Knives Out. I, I enjoyed that film. I have actually watched it in the cinema and I've watched it again since. And Richard Osman, I've only read his first book, but I liked it well enough. So let's see what this says on the back. It says, I knew our family reunion wouldn't end well, but I didn't expect murder. Maybe I should have known better. After all, everyone in my family is a killer. My parents, my siblings, my in-laws, even me. We're not all psychopaths. Some of us are, sure. Uh, but others are just unlucky. Accidents happen. So when a body is found in the snow, it's clear it's the work of a Cunningham. But which one and why? I'll give you one clue. It wasn't me. But a piece of advice? Never trust a Cunningham. So this sounds right up my street. I do still have my last two crime subscription books to read and I was hoping to read them in this late half of the month. I've got City on Fire by Don Winslow to read and I've still got An Honourable Thief by Douglas Skelton still to read. I might skip them both and read this one first. Let me know in the comments which one you would like to see reviewed first out of the last three crime syndicate books. So yeah, this looks really cool. It says an ingenious and hilarious meta murder mystery the sunday times said it says benjamin stevenson is an award-winning stand-up comedian and author uh, author of several books including the international bestseller everyone in my family has killed someone which has sold in 24 territories around the world been named as one of the sunday times best crime novels of 2022 and will soon be adapted into a major hbo television series so that sounds interesting so another new author to try from the crime syndicate really really excited for this one let me know in the comments down below if you have already read this one and um let me know if you think i will like it i have also been to a 
few charity shops in May with my mum and my mum bought me some of these books and I bought some of them and one of them I've bought because of another book that I read this month. So first of all I did have a trip to an Oxfam bookshop. My mum bought me this one which is An Artist of the Floating World by Kazuo Ishiguro. I really want to read more Ishiguro. I read three last year I think. The Buried Giant, Clara and the Sun and Never Let Me Go. I've still got the remains of the day on my shelf but I haven't read it yet. But I really couldn't resist this tiny little edition with like such a really pretty cover. To give you a clue of how small it is, it's much smaller than a regular paperback. Wait, even, I think it's even smaller. Oh no, it's the sort of... Hmm. I thought it was even smaller than a, a small paperback, but yeah, it's a really, really cool cover. I don't really know anything about this. I think it takes place after World War II in Japan, and yeah, I, I'm just definitely interested to read more Ishiguro, so picked up this in Oxfam. Near to where my mum lives there is a charity shop that does paperback books for 40 pence so I really really couldn't pass this up when I saw it and yeah that's a recurring theme in this pile of books but yes I found The Kraken Wakes by John Wyndham. I've only actually read one book by John Wyndham, The Day of the Triffids, but I really really enjoyed it and on the strength of that I bought The Midwich Cuckoos which is still on my shelf. Yeah I'm looking forward to reading this one as well because the blurb on this one starts with it started with fireballs raining down from the sky and crashing into the ocean's deeps. Then ships began sinking mysteriously and later sea tanks emerged from the deeps to claim people. Sounds like yes please, that <laughs> sounds like a very much a book that I would enjoy. So looking forward to more John Wyndham just as much as I'm looking forward to more Kajuo Ishiguro. So pick that one up as well. This month I listened to on audiobook the marvellous book Getting Better by Michael Rosen. I will probably talk about this in an individual review because I absolutely loved it and I think Michael Rosen is just an amazing author and this was a brilliant brilliant book. Because of that book I felt I needed to buy another book which is a book of Michael Rosen's poetry. This is a poetry book that Michael Rosen wrote during his grief after the death of his 18 year old son Eddie from Meningitis and if you've ever read Michael Rosen um, any of his poems for children he used to write a lot about Eddie when Eddie was a toddler and it was extremely extremely sad listening to Michael Rosen talk about grief in um, the book Getting Better but I really really wanted to get hold of a copy of his poetry collection that he wrote while grieving called Carrying the Elephant. I did get hold of a copy, I bought this one on eBay probably for a bit more than I wanted to pay for it but on Amazon for some reason this book at the moment costs £44 so I didn't pay that much, I paid a lot less than that. But I bought Carrying the Elephant, A Memoir of Love and Loss by Michael Rosen and although it says it's a memoir of love and loss it's very much I think stories from Michael Rosen's life told in poetry and predominantly being about grief about his son Eddie I believe. I will probably read this this month, it's very very thin and yeah looking forward to getting to this. I'm looking forward to reading a bit of poetry because I don't often so that was another purchase this month and I wasn't going to buy any more in fact the day that I bought this book I had literally said to myself don't buy any more books until your birthday because it's my birthday in June and although I probably won't buy myself books I do fear for my TBR because I know that people will buy me books dreading what's going to happen to the TBR even though I love getting books for my birthday but anyway told myself I wasn't going to so of course that very day I saw this book in the 40p charity shop near my mum's and yeah I, I really should stop going in there just to look at the books because they're 40p and I find it really hard to leave behind a book that I want when it's 40p but I did find this and I have heard that another book on my shelf will make more sense and will work better if I've already read this book. I've already read one of this author's books and this book was actually on my wish list so 
in my mind I've saved at least eight pounds on uh, buying this for 40 pence. So I found The Glass Hotel by Emily St. John Mandel. I've already read Station Eleven and I've heard that um, reading Sea of Tranquility is a better experience if you've already read both Station Eleven and The Glass Hotel, although they are not actually direct sequels or books in a series, but I think her books sort of, these three sort of tie in together and I would like to catch those references when I read Sea of Tranquility. So yeah, I couldn't leave The Glass Hotel behind in a charity shop, not in this condition and for that price. So another purchase. I don't really know what this one's about apart from a hotel. Uh, yeah, just interested to get to this one. So another Emily St. John Mandel for my shelves. The theme of this book haul seems to be books that I've already got a book to read by that author on my shelf. But yeah, bargains mostly. So yes, that is everything that I have acquired in the month of May for my giant bookshelf. Hopefully it won't make the giant TBR go up, but I have been reading very, very slowly in the month of May. So we might well see the TBR creeping up again. <laughs> I love buying books, so I couldn't couldn't really help it. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video today and if you have, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. Do leave me a comment. Have you read any of these books? Which of these do you think I should prioritise and read straight away? Yeah, let me know if you have read my Crime Syndicate subscription book. It's one that I am very excited for now that I've seen it and I love this bright orange cover. It looks awesome. Let me know in the comments if you've read it and I will hope very much to see you all again very soon for another video all about books here on Alice and the Giant Bookshelf. Bye for now!